What's up guys? This is Rafael Lovato Jr. I'm here at my academy in Oklahoma City. Uh, I have my, my very first black belt, Justin Ray, with me on the mat today. Um, got some cool things to go over with you guys uh, regarding how to defeat the lockdown. Uh, but real quick before we get started, I just want to tell everyone thanks so much for uh, all your support. You guys, uh, with getting the, the Guard Mastery DVD that I, that I just released, we just blew through um, our first 500 copies for that 50% discount that we offered. And uh, so far, I've already been receiving quite a few messages. People got their DVDs right away. They've already been um, studying. And uh, a lot of people are really loving the techniques and already putting them to, to, to use on the mat. So um, I really appreciate hearing from you all. Please keep sending me messages. Let me know how those techniques are working from you. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to get your hands on the Guard Mastery set, um, you will have another chance uh, very soon. And, uh, and some other cool things coming your way. So um, just keep your eyes out on that. And, uh, you know, once again, thanks for all the support. And also thanks to everyone that's been supporting the Save Jiu-Jitsu movement. Um, last weekend was a huge weekend for Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, Metamorphs 3 was, was an amazing night, full of great matches, but uh, none was, was uh, close to being as exciting um, as the, the rematch with uh, Eddie Bravo and Hoyle Gracie. Um, you saw some amazing exchanges in that match, and two uh, warriors that uh, wanted to fight hard to the very end, and a lot of heart was shown. And, uh, you know, it was just an amazing thing to witness, and I'm sure those that were, that were there in attendance will never forget what they experienced. Um, and so, anyways, I thought, you know, I've already been receiving, I got text messages, Facebook messages, and whatnot, uh, people wanted to kind of pick my brain and ask me how I would have dealt with the lockdown of, of Eddie Bravo that, uh, you know, really slowed down um, Hoyler from putting his pressure and being able to pass the half guard and from there it uh, you know opened up all the uh, you know pretty crazy attacks that, uh, that Eddie has from that position. So uh, you know I want to go over with you guys my favorite way to deal with the lockdowns very very simple but uh, you know strategy wise what uh, you know what I like to do with someone that I know likes to play half guard and lockdown and stuff like that is actually the same way how Leo Zeno approached uh, Eddie Bravo whenever they fought in 2003. And that's to pass on the outside, okay? Uh, you know, look more for like the bullfighting and things like that. One thing that was really cool um, that we actually, myself and, and Professor Raider here, uh, like to use, you know, in our Noki games, especially with someone who wants to play tight and get underneath, and they're kind of sitting on their butt, is to actually reach across and grab the ankle here and kind of scoop the head and work creating these angles where we can get to the head, if they throw their leg over and switch to the other side, you know, some cool things like that. But basically we keep our space, we keep our distance, you know, and not go into the half guard, not engage in the position that is the guy's best game. And uh, that's the strategy Leo Zinho used to defeat Eddie, you know, over a decade ago. But, uh, you know, Hoyler, He's, he's old school generation, he wanted to come in and apply his pressure, which he's amazing at. Uh, and we really saw kind of the clash of Hoyler's pressure, his cross face, meeting, you know, Eddie Bravo's lockdown. And, uh, and you know, Hoyler was getting slowed down by that. And, you know, from there, uh, the offense was able to pick up for Eddie. So, let's, let's kind of talk about that. Alright, so, first, you know, Hoyler was coming in very engaging with uh, with the half guard, and his focus was on the head and the, and, the, and the underhook and the you know the pressure with his shoulder and the face, and he didn't really focus on the legs too much, and uh, you know uh, Eddie did an amazing job of of you know withstanding the pressure and locking um, the the lockdown, and from there you know once once the actually let's turn it this way, once the lockdown gets put on. You know, from here, when it's extended, you kind of go down and away a little bit, and from there, it's, it's hard to put a lot of pressure, okay? So, whenever, kind of back up a second before you have it all the way locked. Whenever I realize that someone is looking to kind of play the lockdown or even like the Lucas Lake style half guard, I like to change my focus instead of looking towards the head and trying to put my pressure here and falling into this with my knee flat on the mat, okay? And change instead of going cross face into going to what I like to call cross shoulder, okay? What's really going to kill, uh, you know, me in this position is, is having my knee on the mat, all right? That's the main key for them to lock a really tight lockdown half guard and, and, you know, begin their offense. So if I was approaching the half guard, 
You know, and you may see he has like a traditional half guard. And then as I come in, I feel him switch. At this point, I, I like to switch to the cross shoulder. Okay? So I bring my arm over. As my arm comes over, my hip follows here. You see how my elbow is in alignment to my hip. Okay? I don't want to bring my elbow and keep my hip down here. Now I'm not very heavy. His arms are stronger. He can push against me and, you know, cause me to lose position. So as my elbow comes over, not by his ear, but by his shoulder, okay? If I go up too high, once again, there's a lot of space for him to work and get under me, okay? So by the shoulder, and then my hip follows right onto his other shoulder, all right? This is a much more comfortable position for me to deal with the lockdown and focus on his legs, okay? Even if he managed to get it locked all the way, we can still deal with it from here, but you'll notice how my knee's not flat anymore. As much as he wants to extend, my leg is just going to kind of come up like this, okay? And I'm not quite stretched the same as what I would be if I was facing his head, okay? So now, first thing, the lockdown can be a little uncomfortable. So what I like to do is focus on completely relaxing my leg, all right? If I'm working like crazy, it kind of hurts a little bit going shin against shin and feeling that pressure on my knee and everything. So even if he makes it tight, go ahead and kind of stretch a little bit, I relax my leg completely, okay? I don't try to resist and fight out of it too hard, all right? So I relax my leg, go ahead and keep it tight. Now from here, I'm gonna focus on opening his knee, just like this, okay? That's gonna take off just a little bit of pressure. And then it, as I open his knee, I'm gonna kind of shake and wiggle my foot to where it gets over his foot, okay? So lock it again, go ahead and get it kind of tight, yes, here. I'm going to open his knee and just kind of shake until I can get my foot off of his foot. Once I get my foot onto the mat, I would, I would not think about anything else except for walking my foot up to his butt and getting my knee free. Okay? From here now, I could drive over to the mount and now start to come back to focusing on the head and the underhook and you know, I can get my other leg involved and pass the half guard from here. All right. I would not want to, to free my leg and then go back knee down because then I'm going to fall right back into it, okay? So one more time, we're approaching the half guard. I feel him make the switch. You know, with the gi, I can, I can use the pants. I don't know. I can't remember if, if Hoyler was allowed to use the pants or not. Um, but, uh, you know, no gi doesn't matter. I'm just going to switch my leg right away. Now my knee's off the mat. Okay, cross shoulder, elbows in line with my hip, my weight's perfect. He's going to work hard on dominating my leg. Relax it, okay? From here, open the knee and just wiggle and shake your foot until it is able to hit the mat and get off his foot. You might have to try a couple times, but at least I'm out of danger in this position, okay? From here, the nice thing is too, even if he wanted to pummel with his underhook and everything else, I can actually work some offense and make him worry about his arm and then maybe go back to his leg okay and free my foot walk it up to the butt so there's no more leg to lock down and then I can come over and now apply that shoulder pressure on the face so there you have uh, you know some of my thoughts you know very basic simple way to deal with it um, but, uh, you know, I would have gone back to the strategy and, and changed the strategy a little bit, try to play a little more on the outside and, uh, you know, look at how Leo Zinho dealt with, uh, with Eddie Bravo's half guard. Um, but, uh, you know, it was an amazing match and the way those two clash provide for, you know, a lot of entertainment for the fans. So, um, it was an amazing night. Congratulations to both Eddie Bravo and Willie Gracie for the great performances and, uh, and congratulations to Meta Morris for another successful event. I hope to be on the next one, and, and uh, you know, thanks for everyone for the support. Um, hope you guys like the video and the technique. All right, take care.